When a princess flies into town on a helicopter to hand out medals to world-class athletes, people take notice. At least some people do. We didn't have a schedule, we weren't sure, so now we did come here to find uh, uh, here she is going to be leaving shortly. This man remembers a time in the 60s when he and some friends actually met the royals. And you know, a bunch of us went down there and you know, there was no guards really around or anything and we got right up. Uh, one guy, he even gave her some, I've forgotten what he gave her, but some kind of a... Uh, <laughs> and, you know, the whole bunch of us talked to them. But a glimpse of royalty seems to be something of a generational phenomenon. Younger people seem to be more interested in the rowing than in who's watching the rowing. We know everybody out here, and we got told we probably wouldn't meet her, so we're going home to get warmer clothes. Will this be your first glimpse of royalty? I guess so, yeah. You didn't know she was going to be here? No. Yeah, I knew. I knew. Yeah. But I, uh, I didn't know today. You here to see the princess or the events? Both. So which will be more exciting? The events. <laughs> In fairness to the last man, he's from England, so he's not as easily impressed by royalty. Meanwhile, Her Royal Highness is busy attending to her official duties. A brief reception and she's off again. Princess Anne's visit to Minardosa lasted less than an hour. In that time, she watched a rowing event, presented the medals, and then attended a short reception. Then she was whisked away to Winnipeg for more official duties. In the end, loyalty to the crown seems to take precedence. I'm a Canadian, so that's what you are. In Minnedosa, Barry Jansen, Pulse News.